I'm back at it. I'm adding another few layers to these pieces. I've pretty much decided that they're going to be just paintings instead of um, pastels. And I've added a lot on. I'm trying to vary the mark making. And right now, the color is still pretty raw. I added these yellow marks this morning and also some of these blue uh, curly cues. Um, like I said, they're still pretty raw. But that's okay. There's going to be a lot of layers on them. And I'm working in somewhat of a haphazard manner. Like, here's this palette, well, a couple palettes with these different colors, including that one. And I'm working one color at a time. I still haven't gotten all my stuff laid out. I'm looking for tubes of paint that I found a whole stash of them under here. So, I'm going to ask my assistant to help me. So just follow me painting. Thanks. Again, I'm using the one color at a time. And I don't have any rhyme or reason for how I choose where I put the paint. But right now, I'm pretty much just layering, laying a groundwork. There was a spray paint that was right there that I put on a few days ago. And this blue and this yellow in there I put on this morning, too. One of the things I like about the acrylic paint is that it reminds me a lot of the encaustic. I mix the matte medium with it so that it'll still have a, um, a non-shine, which a lot of acrylic paint, or well, all acrylic paint has. So I can put down this color that will be underneath whatever this final layer will be. I kind of like to put the purple next to the yellow. Compliments, you know. I'll get up there. And there's my spray paint. A couple different kinds. I'm not using any today because uh, I have a guest in the studio. And I don't think I want the guests to breathe the fumes. Although I do care about the fumes myself. Um, but still a little chilly here in Detroit to open up my windows and get the benefit of a cross breeze, which would help with my ventilation. Believe it or not, I'm very careful about fumes and breathing things in. I do have some chronic lung problems, which are not caused by my materials, but can be exacerbated by breathing and all this stuff. That's kind of nice. What I'm probably going to do next with these is start laying down a layer of taped uh, lines that will function as a mask so that even though I'm using the acrylic paint, it can be more subtractive as well as just constantly additive. So there you have it. The color is almost done. It's really nice. And I use these like really cheap paper towels, paper plates. Okay, so I'll take it back. Thank you so much. Well, adding on a little bit more, a little bit more. It's kind of like the process of evolution. See you next time.